Hello everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com here. Today we're going to be discussing about how the interpretation of the coefficient changes when we use log transform in regression. First I'm going to present the basic results. So interpreting the coefficients on the IV. Now, we're going to, for simplicity, consider the simple linear regression model, but uh, it's, it's, it's pretty easy to kind of um, revise that for multiple regression. So case one, dv, no log transform, no transformation, iv has no transformation. Then the co interpretation of the coefficient on the iv is the model predicts that a one unit increase in the iv leads to an increase or decrease in the dv by beta units where we replace the word unit by whatever unit of measurement is being used for the IV. Increase or decrease we choose whichever one of those matches the sign on the coefficient. So if the sign on the coefficient is positive we would say leads to an increase. If the sign on the coefficient is negative we would say decrease. In the DV by beta units. Beta is the actual number which you get from the SPSS output. That is the coefficient on the IV. This is a standard one that we see in our first regression model. Now, transformation. Why would we, the common transformation is taking log transform. We might take a log transform of the DV. We might take log transform of the IV. We might take transform of both IV and DV. Why would we take log transform? Well, sometimes by taking log transform we can help to lint to normalize the residuals or the error disturbance term which is required for many uh, tests. Another reason is that the model the original mo model may not be linear there not be may not be a linear relationship between these um, between the DV and the IV and by taking logs we can kind of linearize it. We can make it linear in the parameters stroke coefficients. Right then, so with that background let's look at the first case, well next case we take the log, say we want to take the log of the DV and we take the log of the IV, how does that affect the interpretation of the coefficients. It becomes this. The model predicts that a 1% increase in IV or X let's keep it leads to an increase or decrease in the DV by beta percent. So the words units have been replaced by percent. This makes the interpretation quite nice because you know, when we talk about percentage terms for everything, it's easier to kind of understand uh, rather than I, the IV and DV in different units. Next, DV is transformed using log, IV no transformation. In this case, the interpretation of the coefficients on IV is this. The model predicts that a one unit increase in IV leads to an increase or decrease in the DV by 100 times that number beta and then it's in percentages. The final one, no transform on the DV, log transform on the IV, we would say that the coefficient on the IVs we interpret like this. The model predicts that a 1% increase in the IV leads to an increase or decrease in the DV by the beta value divided by 100 units. Okay. So these things uh, cases you jot down on a piece of paper and then we're now going to apply it to an example simple linear regression I'm going to use education data so my DV will be earnings and the IV will be work experience here we go say so earnings is measured in thousands of dollars say work experience is measured in years. First let's do it with no transformation on the 
either dv or iv regression linear v dv okay go straight down to the coefficient box the interpretation on the iv where coefficient is 1.047 so what would say is for an extra additional year of work experience the model predicts that the earnings will increase by 1000 47 dollars. Right, because we times this by 1,000. 1,047 dollars. Another way of saying it is the model predicts that for one ec one unit, one year increase in the work experience, the earnings will increase by 1,047 dollars. Okay, next let's do the log log transform. Now, recall that we can only take logs of numbers which are not zero or below. So all my earnings and all my experience there, if we flick through, none of them are zero or negative. So we can take log transform. Transform. So we want to transform compute variable. I'm going to create log. So let's say L earn for log earnings. And here we will do a log which we could type straight in ln open bracket earn close brackets ok that and also do the same for the IV experience lx for log experience replace in here the name log experience Okay. So now let's regress log earns on log experience. Analyze, regression, linear, reset to clear the window, um, log earnings into dependent, log experience into independent, and say OK. But here's the coefficient box. Here's the coefficient on log of experience, 0.7. So the interpretation is this. The model predicts that for 1% increase in experience, the earnings will increase by 0.793%, or about 0.8%. Simple as that. Next, let's do a log of dependent variable and linear of, of a non, no, no transformation on the IV. So regression, log of earnings on experience. So we're logging the dependent, we're not logging the IV coefficients. The coefficients on the IV is 0.043. So we say, let's just go back log here. So what we have to do is times the beta by 100. All right. So what we say is that the model predicts that if the work experience increased by one year, the earnings will increase by times by 100, 4.3%. Okay, 4.3%. And finally, so it's straightforward, you see, once you've got the table in front of you, we do earnings, which is not logged, and we will log the IV. Okay, the coefficient is 19.48. Go back to our table. We are not logging the DV, we are logging the IV. So what we interpretation here is we have to divide the beta by 100 and then units. Okay. So what we say is the model predicts that if the work experience increases by 1%, then the, the uh, earnings will increase, because it's got positive there, by this divided by 100, which is about 0.19, by 0.19428 thousands of dollars. Uh -huh. But to say, we could leave it there, but that's not so natural. 0 
thousands of dollars is same as saying times it by one thousand one two three one hundred and ninety four dollars get that okay so we've talked about um, performing log transformation in regression and we've talked about how that we've talked about the interpretation of the coefficients when we use the log transformation on the DV and the IV we noted that the log transformation can be applied to numbers which are not a lot are not zero or below zero okay however if you have numbers that are zero or below zero one way to get around it is you scale everything up by adding a constant to every single value in that variable in that data so for example if earnings here was instead of some reason zero that person is not working or something we could scale it up by adding to everything along down this column one because then that would get rid of the problem of zero okay um, and it's theory to show you why that actually works okay well fantastic so this is commonly kind of employed technique and uh, hope you make use of it okay all for now